Hi guys, my name is Eric, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how much does a new roof cost here in Houston, Texas, and how much you should be paying. So before we go ahead and actually get started, I just wanna make a quick disclaimer saying that these prices are for the Houston market as of right now. You have to understand that prices do change from market to market and as time goes on for a number of factors. But as of right now for the Houston and surrounding areas like Spring, the Woodlands, Kingwood, Katy, Conroe, and so on, uh, an average homeowner is looking to pay somewhere between $250 to $350 per square. So in the roofing industry, we measure everything by squares. So let's go ahead and make a hypothetical scenario here. Let's say you are the homeowner and your home has, your roof has 2,000 square feet. We convert that 2,000 square feet into 20 squares. Now 20 squares, based on the numbers I said earlier, you're looking to pay somewhere between $5,000 to $7,000 for a new roof. Now the difference between these two numbers are gonna come down to four main factors. The first one's gonna be the complexity of the roof. The second one is gonna be the material being used the third one is going to be the labor, and the fourth one is going to be the warranty provided. The first factor, that's going to be the complexity of your roof. Complexity of your roof simply means how difficult is it to go ahead and install a new roof right now. This is going to be the most easiest for you to understand and to actually visually see. Uh, some roofs are a lot easier than others. You have different things that play factors in that. You have the type of roof that you have, then you also have things like the pitch of your roof. A very low pitch roof is gonna be easy to install a new roof versus very high pitch roof. Other things that, like the amount of layers that you have on your roof. A two layer roof is gonna be a little more expensive than a one layer roof because it takes more time, more material, more uh, fees for that. Other things such as the amount of plumbing boots, skylights, chimneys, uh, if you have solar panels, all these different things that are gonna go ahead and make your roof a little more difficult to go ahead and install. The second factor, that's gonna be the material being used. Now, not all material is the same material, not two roofs are not the same roofs. You have to understand that just like in clothing, just like in cars, just like in anywhere else in the world, there's gonna be very low quality material and there's gonna be very high quality material. Now the prices on these two things are gonna vary and you have your in-betweens. Uh, in the roofing industry, you have a lot of brands like Gaff, Certain Teed, Atlas, Owens Corning, uh, Tamco, Ico, and so many other ones. And within these brands, you have different products for different types of, uh, uh, you have different variations of different products. For instance, when it comes to shingles, you have three type shingle versus architectural shingle. And then even if you get architectural shingle, we have different types of shingles. Shingles are allergy resistant, high wind resistant. Shingles are a little more expensive because it has a certain type of look or design or color to it. Uh, other things like felt, you have traditional felt versus synthetic felt. Uh, things like ice and water, are you gonna have ice and water in your valleys? Are you gonna have metal in your valleys? You know, and a whole bunch of other things like uh, traditional roof vents versus ridge vent. All these things that are gonna be your roof that, that are the components and make up the structure of your roof and affect how your roof performs and how long it's gonna last. Now, when it comes down to the product, I, it's different for everybody. It's not gonna be the same for you as it is for your neighbor. You have to see what's important to you, what matters to you, what do you want, what do you value, and, and more importantly, what type of environment do you live in? You know, uh, A roof in, in Alaska is gonna be a lot different than a roof in Miami. So with that being said, my advice to you is go ahead and talk to your local roofing company, have them come out there, have them talk to you about product and, and become educated. Do your own research and understand what's important to you and what matters to you as a homeowner. Now, with that being said, I do wanna make a quick side note saying that when it comes to product, every roofing company is gonna to have to pay roughly the same amount for that product. So if you have two estimates, you have one guy who's a lot cheaper than the other guy, you have to understand, maybe they're not putting the better product on your roof and that's why it's cheaper. Uh, don't always go for the cheaper estimates, always do your research and understand what product is coming on your roof. The third factor, that's gonna be the labor provided. Now, labor is very important as well and often it gets overlooked. We just talked about how important product is, but you can have the best product in the world, but if you don't install it correctly, you're gonna have problems with your roof a lot sooner than you should be having. 
Uh, a lot of times the roofing industry can get a bad rep because you have a lot of people who are inexperienced, unskilled, and they just go out there, they give very cheap estimates, and they just make a mess. They don't have workmanship, and to them it's just about making a quick buck. And that's, it's not right. And I understand as a homeowner, you want to go ahead and save a little bit of money, but you have to understand that your workmanship really does matter when it comes down to your roof. Because if you're the average homeowner and you have someone go ahead and replace your roof, maybe you may not see problems for the first three years, maybe four years, but eventually after five years, six, 10 years, you're gonna start having leaks, or you're gonna start having issues. I, I can't tell you how many times we've been out to a roof where the homeowner just had the roof replaced about five years ago, and now they're having leaks. They can't call the original contractor that they went ahead and called, they're, they're having problems, and we get out there and we see that it's either wrong material being used, sloppy workmanship, or they cut corners somewhere to go ahead and give you that cheaper price. And you don't want to be that homeowner who's going to have to pay twice for their roof. When it comes to hiring a roofing contractor, go ahead and make sure you hire someone that has great reviews, has an online presence, has some sort of uh, credential certification, some sort of training that, that shows you that they know what they're doing and they understand your roof. So your roof lasts a very long time and you don't have those headaches down the road. The fourth and final factor that's going to be the warranty provided. Now, when it comes to warranty, there are going to be two basic warranties. The, number, the first one's going to be your manufacturer's warranty. That's the warranty that comes with the product that you use, the brand. Owens Corning has their own warranty, so there's Atlas, vice versa. That changes from company to company and or from brand to brand. And my recommendation is whenever you hire your contractor, have them sit down and explain that. Manufacturer's warranty simply means that because you use their system, if there's any problems with your roof and is installed correctly, they will go ahead and take care of it because that's a product, uh, uh, that's a problem with the product itself. Now, a company warranty is a little different. This also varies from company to company. I cannot speak for every company, but for example, for our company, we do offer five, 10 year warranty. And what this basically means that within this time period, if you have any problems with your roof, we go ahead and come out there, we supply the material, we supply the labor, and we fix your problem at no extra cost. Now, warranties, it can just give you that peace of mind that you can have as a homeowner, knowing that for the next five, 10 years, you're not gonna have any problems. Now, when it comes to warranty as well, be warned that just because a company says that they will, they go ahead and provide warranty doesn't mean they're gonna honor that. A lot of times you have a lot of storm chasers that come down and, and fix these roofs and they say they're warranty and all this stuff, but you can't get a hold of them after three years or they're not in business or they're in a different state and you can't have anyone come out down to your roof and you're stuck as a homeowner. So when it comes to warranty, our recommendation is hire a local company that is in your area. Don't hire a company that is just coming down here because of the storm. Hire a company that is in your area that's been there for a few years, is established and is has some sort of credentials. So therefore, you know that you are gonna be taken care of. So those are the four main factors that are gonna affect the price of your roof. I'm sure I've missed some things, so go ahead and drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Now, the last piece of advice I'd like to give you as a homeowner to make sure you don't get ripped off and you get the best value for your roof is do your research, understand what product is going on your roof, and, and call your local roofing company. Call a local company that's been in your area for a few years, has been established, has some sort of credential, some sort of review, some sort of online presence, and have them come out there, have them talk to you. You know, there's a lot of great companies out there. You know, if it's a good company, you'll know they're a good company because they sit down with you. They, they ask questions and they want to educate you in the process and they want you to understand what's happening with your roof. Like I said, if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop a comment down below. Or if you're actually located in the Houston area, you can give us a call. At We are a locally family owned and operated roofing company. We've been in business for seven years and we have a little bit of experience when it comes down to this. Even if you just have a question in terms of your shingles or your felt or any question you might have, we're more than happy to help educate you. We believe in providing value first and if we keep providing value, then hopefully things will work out for us. We know it will, you know? With that being said, I appreciate you still watching the video. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.